the plan I had for today was to microwave the potatoes and then shove them in the oven while the oven is hot. But the microwave decided that it's not going to work. I told me if it's not working after putting it in a pan. Can you hear that? Sizzling? I put the potatoes in the pan with a little bit of butter. And now the microwave works. Let's get to cooking anyway. As I'll say, sometimes cooking from frozen is good. This takes 10 minutes. It's not a minute's got 600 grams. It's part of the 10 for for 10 for five, no, three for 10 pound deal. It's quite nice. People say that it smells like hot dog meat. Well, I don't mind if it does because I see a lot of dog meat I'm eating. So let's go and put this in the pan. Rinse in the pan. Well, I've got some old onions. I'm going to use that to extend the flavour. Okay, I might not use that one. That looks a bit weird. I forgot I had it there. I have, I've got a thing of raw onions at the moment, which is nice for what I'm going to do with the rest of the mints later. Later, so I say, later. My English is made not very, very good right now. I think I'm talking to myself. Sometimes it feels like I do. But we have got some chicken out for tomorrow, defrosting. I'm going to, once that's defrosted. I was going to put that, that's, that's the amount of peppers and I've got a bit of spinach there. There's also spinach in with the potato as well, so. Spinach myself up, you know what I mean? That's it. Smell the food. New, yeah. Chicken mints. New potato, baby potatoes. What do you want to call them in spinach? Oh, yeah. Mama Bee's back on track. Eating healthy. The chicken's defrosted. I guess season it up. But today I'm gonna put a little time on there because I've got towel on my hands. And it's a good thing about the chicken is the longer you marinate it, the longer you've got it in the in marinade pots overnight. You could even, if you're buying your chicken fresh, it doesn't want to come out. If you buy your chicken fresh, season it, clean it and season it, and freeze it. Seasoned already. Cut the cooking down down for you. I'm telling you, it's a life saving job. A life changer and a life saver. If you're like me, who needs time on their hands and they've got some origami too. And we're going to see that out. And my lunch is now ready for brunch. Mmm, is it brunch? Because I may not eat nothing else tonight. I don't know. I don't know, but let's dish up. Get our dish out. First of all, we have the potatoes and spinach. You can see that. Ooh, that smells nice. You can smell the spinach in this one. Smell, smell, smell. Look, 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 take a look. Spinach is good for iron. Because they're baby potatoes. They're not higher. They're not, they're not like danger, danger. A lot of people look at this and say, oh, shouldn't be eating that, but I'm going to eat it anyway. This is literally four baby potatoes. That's it. Or was it five? No, it was four. It may look like a lot, but it ain't a lot. <laughs> That's one panda. Let's get the surprises. So I did add. A mixed carrots and peas and that in there. Oh, this is looking lush. Can you see the carrots? I hate my sofas on my hands. The carrots, the beans. And I still got quite a bit left for later on. That's going to go in my wrap. So if you want many things to last, can stretch because you haven't got much. Add vegetables. Definitely add vegetables. It spreads, it makes it look like you've got way more food than you have. Let's have a shake. You have it. This is our meal. No potatoes left for later, but all that mince. We've got some of that mince left for later. It's going to go in a wrap. It's going to be absolutely delicious. May just do it just like that in the wrap. May do it with couscous. We'll see how I feel after eating this meal.